Hello guys, the two bros here and welcome to another episode of our Sheffield Wednesday career mode. Thank you for all the support you've been leaving on all the others. I've literally just looked back at all of them. I have been looking but just like fully and actually concentrating on all the comments. I've took what you've said on board and I've obviously changed my team up a little bit. And this is the team I've actually changed it up. It's still Kirkland 8, Mata Zato and Palmer. So we've got the same back four. But Gardner, Frimpong, Helen and Antonio. So Frimpong and Gardner have came in. Cade and Wickham. And then everyone was saying play Maguire. But I want him sort of for the second games when other players are tired because he's a good player to bring in when others are tired. So in this episode, we've got a massive game against Watford. And straight after two days later, we've got a game against Middlesbrough. So that will be the two games we have this episode. And they will be absolutely massive games. So without further ado, we will get into this game. And because we are sort of like a long break, so the team has got like full fitness now so we won't have to worry about fitness levels because sometimes your team doesn't perform as well with fitness so we're gonna have harry kane playing up front with Connor wickham hopefully he can get some more goals because he's been doing great so far so guys if you do enjoy this episode make sure you hit that like and subscribe button it means a lot and you will get benefited in the future by giveaways and all sorts of like that so make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and yeah come on wednesday let's get another three points just go play can i spot the runner Connor wickham yes he can can wickham cut inside and can he finish oh it's a good save that's a great save by Al I think they've got in goal. Yeah. That's a good run made. Straight in the middle to find Connor Wickham. It's Harry Kane. He's going to come inside. Shoot. Blocked. And the, oh my god, what a finish. That is an amazing finish by Liam Palmer. This guy has scored some magnificent goals this season already. And he bags another one. That is just absolutely quality. Great play by the youngster. Look at that, man. Oh, that is absolutely amazing. That top corner, you cannot get better than that. That's 1 0 Wednesday. Get ready, lads. On your head. No! Oh, that's a good save, but it was offside. So if it went in, it wouldn't have counted. That was a great save by Kirkland. Caught off guard as well. Yeah, right, guys, we're approaching half time now. There shouldn't be too long left, and we've dominated. And there we go. We've dominated the first half, and Harry Kane could have easily pushed free in a lot. He missed two good chances, but it just shows how good we're playing going forward. Liam Palmer getting another astonishing goal by that youngster. He's going to be absolutely quality when he grows. So, at half time, it's 1 0 Wednesday. We've been all over. We don't deserve to draw or lose. We just deserve that three points to take back to Sheffield. So, without further ado, let's get into the second half and come on Wednesday. Oh, that's a great run made by Antonio. He's got in front of his man. Can he hit a cross goal? Oh, that's a good save. Al Mounier on form today. Nathan A to whip it in. He's found Harry Kane. What a finish by Harry Kane. You just can't stop him. You actually can't stop him. He missed some good opportunities. But when you get a chance like that on the volley, Harry Kane is going to finish. Nathan Eight getting a second assist of the season as a centre-back. With quality and a lovely finish by Harry Kane. That's 2-0 Wednesday. Gary Gardner wins it. He cuts inside. He finds Frimpong and Frimpong and it and it goes in. Oh my god, I thought he missed. And I think that was Antonio. And I for a second thought he actually missed. Frimpong and then it falls straight back. And he hits the post and it goes in. 
Yes, it was Antonio. And oh my god, I actually thought he missed. So Antonio getting another for the season. That's 3 0 Wednesday. So, guys, we're approaching the end of the game. Only two minutes added on. And we've dominated so much. It's unbelievable. And, oh, we nearly got through. Yeah, we've dominated so much. And they haven't had a chance to go through on goal or anything. And there we go. Full time. And that's Watford nil. Sheffield Wednesday 3. This is amazing. I, do, I didn't even know I could play as good as I could what i'm doing now because it's absolutely quality in the team is just playing phenomenal so we take three points back to sheffield and that drops watford down in the crap because they weren't far behind us i believe so if we look at the table now in first we've got qpr with 34 points in second we've got wigan with 32 and in third we've got us with 31 so we just want qpr or wigan to draw or lose then if qpr draw we could get on level terms and go straight past them and watford have now dropped to 11th and obviously when we beat bolton that's made them drop a few points to fourth and nottingham forest to sixth so we are pretty much destroying all the people's hope of trying to get through Matt up, hello boss, glad to see you believe in me, so thanks for selecting Matt up, your quality. So now we're going to proceed on to the next game, which is against Middlesbrough, and this is going to be a one hell of a game. Reason being, our team is going to be mixed up like crazy, because we've just had that game, they are going to be tired, so we're going to have to change the team up like mad, but we have got that strength with our second team. To go out and win so let's just have a look so for harry kane we can put in mcguire wickham will bring in jordan ibe we can bring in mccabe for helen we can bring in mag hummer we can bring in johnson see these are really really good players to bring in then we've got bentaleb we can bring on so as a whole this team is really 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 strong go lads feed it's jordan ibe it's it and it comes straight back and mcguire finishes a little bit of a scrappy goal but we'll take it especially with our second team jordan ibe hit it and mcguire finishes good poaching goal by mcguire and mcguire puts in the back of the net that's one nil wednesday oh that's a good block Chase him down. Well played. Cross it in. That's a good ball. Maguire. There we go. 2 0 just before half time. And that was all because of the closing down. That was absolutely quality closing down by Johnson, I believe. We just didn't let him go. Oh no, it was I, but then I put it in and there was no chance of Maguire missing a header from there. He's a really good player, Maguire. I don't know why I didn't start him earlier in the season, but thanks for letting me, me know in the comments, guys, because that's always going to help the career mode grow by helping me. So that's 2-0 Wednesday. It should be half-time now. And there we go, it's half-time. And that's 2-0 Sheffield Wednesday. Oh, what a half. You just, you can't stop us when we're in this sort of form. And it's really, really good play. They obviously hit the post early on. But Maguire has got two good goals. And Ibe has been playing quality as well. So this is our second team as well. So without further ado, let's go and come on Sheffield Wednesday. Good play. Can he feed it? Yes, he can. And now it's Johnson. Can he see the run? Yes, he can. Can we finish? Oh, yes, we can. Oh, yes, we can. That is absolutely quality. You would expect Man City to do that sort of football. Jesus Christ, that is absolutely phenomenal. Oh, my God, I can't believe that. Johnson, he spotted that run. It was inch perfect. Oh, we just hit that in the bottom corner. That was fantastic. I believe that was Bentaleb, actually. But I'm just going to wait to see. There we go. Bentaleb getting another goal. This guy's quality. That's 3-0 Wednesday. 
This is great play by the youngster. He cuts inside. He takes two. He lays it off. And what a goal by Corey. And what play by Jordan Hyde. This is phenomenal. Oh, it was Maccabe. Sorry. What play. This is phenomenal. He lays it off. And he just hits it without even taking a run up. This is amazing. I actually can't believe we're doing so good. I thought we were going to struggle this season. But it's 4 0 Wednesday. Guys, we're approaching the end of the game now. And there we go. We have approached the end of the game. And it is a 4 0 win against Middlesbrough. I actually can't believe how good we're doing. Portfield hit the post in the first seven minutes and MNS was quality. He's still a player I would like to bring in. They took him off though. They took MNS off and they fell apart up front. They couldn't get anything going and they just couldn't get anything going for themselves defending an attack. And we've had another international management offer for New Zealand. But, to be honest, I don't really want to take that. So, that is absolutely phenomenal, them two games. And we have now, ladies and gents, gone above Wigan Athletic by one point. We are on 34, they are on 33. So, if, if when we play QPR, if we beat them, that will be awesome. We're getting through the season quite fast now. And if we have a look at the season, in the next episode, we will have a game against Leicester City. And the Capital One Cup, we have the round of 16 against Leeds, which will be a really good game. Then we've got a game against Wigan, which will be really important. Blackburn, Burnley, Yeovil and Blackpool. And we play QPR on the 21st of December. So that will be a really, really good game. And then straight after that, really. And then we've got Barnsley. And we've got Brighton. The transfer window comes and I cannot wait for that. So, guys, if you did enjoy, make sure you say as well if you'd like uh, who you would like me to go for international management and who you would like me to buy when it comes or just say whatever you want to do. So, guys, make sure you like and subscribe because you guys are the best. So, make sure you like and subscribe. And uh, I'll speak to you later and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye, uh, lads. See you later.